Hi, welcome to Quick Crafts. I'm David, and today's activity is clothespin bugs. Whoa! The materials for today's activity are clothespins, pipe cleaners or Chanel stems, some coffee filters, markers, and scissors. The first bug I'm going to make is going to be a little blue beetle. So I'm going to start with my clothespin and choose my color. When I color it, I'm gonna make sure to get all the nooks and crannies, like this one. And you're going to need two pipe cleaners per bug. You're going to fold them in half and cut them in the middle. This will give you four pipe cleaners. Three of these you will group together and twist in the middle, and these are going to be the legs. You'll take the legs together and thread them through the middle of your clothespin. Once you have them in there, you will spread them apart and add bends for little knees and feet for your beetle. Then I will take my fourth pipe cleaner half and fold that in half, add a little bit of a curve, and these will be the antenna. You can pinch them in the front, mess with the legs a little, and there's your bug. So for our butterfly, uh, you're going to start again with your clothespin and you will color it the color of your choice. And then you will grab a coffee filter, and these will be the wings of our butterfly. So I'm gonna move these to the side and show you what to do. You're going to lay it flat over uh, your table, and then grabbing some markers, you're going to add color to the coffee filter. You can make a fancy design, you can scribble scrabble, but make sure that you add color to the whole filter. After you've colored your entire filter, you're going to grab a plate or some other surface that you can carry it on. And we're going to add a little bit of water. A spritzer bottle is going to be perfect because it will distribute the water and this is going to dilute the marker and spread the color. So you're gonna add a few sprays to your filter and you're going to watch as the colors start to blur. This is the design that I used for my little monarch butterfly here. As you can see, the black lines didn't blur and blend because I used a permanent marker and those are water resistant. So I'm going to do the same thing. Place it in the sun for a few minutes to dry. Once your coffee filter is dry enough to handle, the last thing to do is to fold it up and put it inside your clothespin. Don't forget to add the antenna. And there you have it. I hope y'all had fun today with today's activity and I'll see you next time.